But first, when it comes to stress, there's probably nothing in the AFL that compares to the coach's box. As the game unfolds, pressure intensifies and cool heads are needed. Don Pike usually has at least 10 others in the box with him, including line coaches, development coaches, statisticians and injured players. Analyst Wade Watts gives us an insight into what goes on. We've been speaking about the Adelaide forward line and you can see what's going on here. Tex is trying to give him instructions about what they need to do or what they're not doing at the moment. Hi guys, we're here at Adelaide Oval. I'm here to give you a tour of the coach's box on game day. Alright guys, so this is the coach's box. Uh, it's a high pressure environment, but it's always nice and calm and collaborative in here. But at Adelaide Oval, everyone sits in the same spot every week. So up here we've got Pikey. Uh, next to him is Jared Harkness, the footy analysis manager. So he basically has vision that Don wants to look at and any other stats that Pikey's after. Next is Doc Clark, so our new women's coach. Also our ruck coach, and he's in charge of the rucks and our centre bounce. So what's good, what's bad for the centre bounce for the game. And next to him is Brett Burton, the footy manager, and he's basically overseeing the whole box that we're keeping calm and in charge of anything that goes wrong in terms of injuries and updating Pikey and the coaches on player availability. Holds onto it, Seedsman well and truly within range. Outstanding. So up the back here we've got our four computers for our vision. So each game we get four angles of vision coming in. So the broadcast vision that you get on TV, a wider version of that, and then a camera set up behind each goal. So we get each of those and that vision comes in and then we churn it out to all the line coaches and analysts for them to watch it during the game. So down the front row, this is where the line coaches and analysts sit. So I'm the mids, midfield analyst. Um, I'm looking at stoppages and how the midfielders are performing throughout the game. And next to me is Scott Camparelli, the mids coach. And basically I'm helping him find any faults in the mids or any way that the stoppages are breaking down. And he's just got the stats in front of him. So basically looking at how the mids are going. Got the little handball out, Tex got it! Alright guys, we're still setting up the coach's box, so in a few hours it'll be game time, so I better leave you to it. 